Hey everybody, Mr. Aaron Juzari here, answering your Pico questions and comments. So please comment below and I'll answer them in the next video. This is session number eight. Claus Witz asks, what would you consider the best documentary about peak oil? Well, there's many of them, but my favorite is The End of Suburbia. Great movie, explains peak oil and also the effects of suburbia and how it's unsustainable. You know, after World War II, all the GIs came home and everyone, you know, was sold to get a house in the suburbs away from mass transit and rail and totally car dependent. It really explains how, you know, the suburban dream is pretty much guaranteed uh, to not work once oil becomes higher. Great, uh, very recommended. AR-15 Truther 2 asks, will Russia sit on the fence if the U.S. moves on Iran? Great question. Uh, I think they'll watch us overstretch ourselves rather than get involved, um, just as they overstretched themselves during the Cold War. I also think China will sit in the sidelines too. Um, they also, Russia didn't do anything during the Iraq or the Afghan war. Um, you know, so I don't know why they would be involved with Iran. Plus they have their own oil. They had, they produce just as much as Saudi Arabia does. They have massive amounts. Um, their involvement could be as simple as just shutting down uh, Western Europe's heat <laughs> by shutting down the gas pipelines from Russia to the West. Um, that would be a pretty powerful statement move. It would be very easy and quick for them to do. Um, as far as our country trying to block Iran's exports, um, you know, they, they produce three or four million barrels a day. This is not some small, uh, you know, Libya or anything. This is a, a much more larger amount of oil. Um, by blocking those exports, ultimately, you know, we shoot ourselves in the foot because we're almost guaranteeing higher oil prices, which will destroy our economies, won't allow us to grow, and it's going to get everybody upset, and it's going to be one giant problem um, that can't be solved. You know, there's no way to win. You know, we're addicted to cheap oil that's peaked already and in decline around the world. So, unfortunately, the oil wars, as I've been saying, are just beginning. The Strait of Hormuz situation is one small example of many potential oil wars uh, in that region. It's almost impossible to predict, but one thing for sure is there will be wars there. I can't imagine there will not be in the coming decades. Any questions or comments? Please comment below. Thank you.